Good evening, everyone, and welcome to day two of the Women's College World Series. With us from Florida, to my right, we have head coach Tim Walton, Hannah Rogers, Brianna Little, and Bailey Castro. We'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Walton. Well, first, I just want to congratulate the Gators on a, a great game. I thought Hannah pitched a wonderful game, and uh, the game plan coming into this was, uh, was executed excellently. I thought we did a really good job. Uh, I know we didn't finish probably as, as, as strong as we'd like, but we had such a, such a main focus on, uh, on Hawkins. And I think uh, you know, the way they, they, they brought her in there, I think that had a lot to do with it, just changing the eye levels and the spin. But um, you know, just uh, I thought we really came out with a good plan, executed a good plan. And you know, again, I think you know, all sounds great, but Hannah pitched a great game, and that's why we're here right now. Thanks, Coach. Just a reminder to raise your hand and wait for the mic, and then please state your name and affiliation before asking your question. We'll now go to the floor for questions. Bailey, can you talk about just how locked in you were today, and, and did you earn any more funnel cakes? <laughs> no, no funnel cakes today. Um, we've just been talking all year about line drives, and I think that that was just my like go-to plan today, just try to go up there with line drives, and it worked out well for me. Chris Harry, GatorZone.com. Hannah, is this, do you feel as confident as you have maybe ever been in terms of the command of your stuff right now? Yeah, I feel very confident. I mean, um, just locating pitches and just the way I feel right now, my body feels great too. And um, just the defense that we have behind us and the hit, how good the hitters are hitting right now. As far as the defense behind her, what's it like standing back there and seeing her do what she's doing right now? Well, I guess it's 28 straight scoreless innings at NCAA tournament play. Um. It's it's just a great feeling to know that you have a pitcher that's out there just throwing strikes and she has confidence in your defense. I mean, I know Hannah grinds, so I grind for Hannah. So I know that she's got my back and I got hers. Um, Mike Baum with Del Coleman. One quick for Hannah and then uh, uh, Bailey. Hannah, you, you've been here since your freshman year. and I mean, you guys are one win away again from getting back to the finals. Just talk about being so close and this is your goal and the one win away part of this. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, we're just focusing. Now we'll focus on our next opponent and just do the things that we need to do to get ready for them. Uh, P. LaFleur, college softball 360 coach. Uh, how much did it help see in Hawkins yesterday um, with just approaching the, the way she spins the ball? How, as opposed to if you just if you guys had to face them game one right out of the shoot, how does that extra day of in-person scouting make a big difference? Same for the two hitters. If you guys picked up on anything yesterday in preparing for today? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, in, in, in all fairness, I think we, we really didn't have that much time to prepare. We had less, maybe less than 24 hours to put together a game plan and, um, you know, try to execute that. I, I spent the most of the af late afternoon after we um, watched the game here a little bit, I sat behind the home plate and watched one half inning just to see her spin the ball and see what it looked like. Um, but I had an iPad, an iPhone, and a laptop with every, every video that was either live streamed on uh, either ESPN3 or some DVD copies that we, you know, we were able to record off the Pac-10 network and some other games. And I mean, it helped us for sure. Um, being here in person helps you for sure. But you know, uh, again, I, I just think our, our hitters you know, capitalized on a couple mistakes that she may have, let, may have made. She wasn't getting that pitch on the outside corner um, that she wanted so badly. Um, and and as, you, as we watched that and scouted that, um, when she gets that pitch, she's a lot tougher because it's 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 not a strike. It's off the corner. It's not a, it's not a strike. It's coming back, but it's a tough it's a tough pitch to hit if she's getting that one. Because uh, the game plan for us to come in today was swing strikes, really try to go the other way, do a good job of staying on the top half and don't overswing. And I think we we did a good job of that early. Uh, Joe Bettner, fan sided. Hannah, you just shut out the, the top overall seed in the tournament. What does that do for your confidence? Um, I mean, it boosts my confidence because Oregon's obviously a great team. Um, just going into the next game and just staying with the same game plan and just really focusing on location and hitting certain spots for each batter. Tim, there are going to be two SEC teams to start 2-0 and here this week. I'm just kind of curious, how has the depth of your conference and had the challenge of that part of the season. How has that changed since your first trip here in uh, 08, I guess? Oh, you know, I, I think the depth has obviously really improved. I thought, I, I said it this year, if you took the top two teams out of the SEC and you took the two bottom teams out of the SEC and you bunched all the teams up in the middle, 
I haven't seen anybody better. Uh, it's really strong. Um, I, I thought the way the whole league competed this year was was what's well, showing right now. It showed you know through regionals getting 11 teams in, and um, it's it's a very it's a very strong conference. And you know I'll be honest, I've said it too that the the athletic directors and the administration are making a, a big push to make softball important, put pouring a lot of resources into facilities, and doing a great job of supporting the student athletes. And I think that's that's something that I'm not saying that it hasn't been there because I, I haven't been there, but I'm telling you that that's the big key. These these kids are are treated first class. Um, and their softball players are doing things that they, they love to do since they were little. And, and I think that's, that's one of the biggest reasons for me, that they're, they're giving them everything they need to be successful as a student and as an athlete, and that, that's huge. Yeah, two questions for, for Tim and Brianna. The, the play on the high pop-up that they didn't catch it, how do you, do you chalk that up? Is, is that just a lucky break or, or what? How do you look at it? I mean, I just look at it as putting the ball in play, putting pressure on the other team, and then just capitalizing and being aggressive and hustling to the next base and, yeah, just hustling the whole time. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, if you're, if you're dogging it and you're feeling sorry for yourself because you just popped up a two-out, two-strike pitch, we're not scoring runs, we're not doing things. I, I think it was just it's a hustle play. You know, it's, it was hit high. The sun was brutal. Um, you know, and I don't think the sun had a part to do with that. It looked like there was, you know, it looked like she tripped or did something going backwards. But um, you know, just a hustle play. I mean, and you need those breaks to win games here at the College World Series, and we'll take them. And, and Tim, the way this team is playing, I know there's still work to do, and your goals are to win it all and all that. But how much appreciation do you have for what you guys have done in the postseason so far, and the way you're playing the game? Well, I, you know, I did a radio show this morning and talked about the, the, the level of confidence that I have in each one of these players, that they're doing their part. I've made that challenge to them in postseason. They, they set a lofty goal, and each one of our players needs to do their part. You don't just get to postseason and get by. You have to figure out a way to get better. How can you, can you get better by, can you run more and get stronger, tougher, physically tougher, mentally tougher? And um, I, I really I do give them a ton of credit for buying in and then being accountable. And, and all 17 of the girls are doing their part to help the Gators win softball games. Murray, I'm Associate Press, and this is for you, Coach. I mean, been in the finals once before. I mean, it's kind of close, close enough twice? OK, let's read the book. Close enough you can taste it right now? Um, no, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, this is a great spot to be in, no, no doubt, being 2-0 and in the winner's bracket. but. Um, we came through it undefeated until we got to the championship. We came through the loser's bracket to get to the championship. So we know no matter what happens, I don't even know the bracket. I don't know how it flips, turns, moves. I don't even know what it does now, to be honest with you. Um, it's going to be tough no matter who we play. But the, the, the great part for me is somebody has to beat us twice, and I, and I do like our chances um, with that and the way we're playing, playing right now. Megan Parler, Gator Vision Coach, just touched on how well the defense played behind Hannah, including Hannah, the two double plays, Medina's play, Hannah. Just how well the defense played today. Uh, very well. Yeah, no, that's, um, again, give credit to, to, the, to Coach Rocha and some stuff that she's given me on scouting. The kid hit a base hit, probably a double in the gap, and there's Kelsey Stewart standing right there, didn't even move on a, root, on a ground ball right to her. Katie Medina goes to her backhand, comes up and throws a, a bullet across the diamond. Um, yeah, it, it, it's impressive. You know, and uh, if we can play defense like that, we are definitely going to be tough to beat because she's throwing the ball while we're hitting, and we can keep that the defensive side going. We put a lot of emphasis on our defense, as as we've talked about for obvious reasons. But very proud. Uh, I'm more proud actually of the way they communicate with each other because that's making them confident. They all know where they're supposed to be, and it's Katie and Stu, and you know, and Hannah and Aubrey. They're all doing a great job, and I, I appreciate that a lot. Bailey, longest home run of your career, if not, it's one of the longest I've ever seen here in Oklahoma City. I mean, is that the longest, or if you've hit them longer, I want to know when and where. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just, I got a good pitch to hit. I mean, I just took a hack. That's kind of my thing. I just kind of take hacks. Um, I felt really nice coming off the bat, so smiling all the way around, for sure. You guys think it's longest ever? She can hit it further. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see further. <laughs> It was the easiest swing I've seen her take to hit the ball that far. Usually she swings out of her shoes, and she can hit them far, but that was the easiest swing I've seen, I've seen her have. For Tim, in, in those past five trips you have made here, 
Have you had teams that in your, in your own mind, if you were being honest with yourself, that you felt had peaked by the time I got th they got here or weren't playing well enough to win at, 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 at the time they got here? Um, the 2009 team was probably the best team um, that I've seen start to finish. 2018, I know we won 70 games, but getting here for our first time was a little bit different. Um, 2011 team surprised the heck out of me getting to the championship. Uh, I think we scored 11 runs in one inning against Alabama to get to get that thing going. And um, this team has probably been one of the more consistent teams. We've had a couple bad games, lost a couple games in the row for 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 other reasons, but um, we've been consistent. You know, our our eight hole hitter, our nine hole hitter are doing little things. This has been probably one of the um, maybe the maybe the, the loosest team that I've coached here at the College World Series. They're loose, they're, they're, they're competitive, but they're still enjoying it and having fun and, and, and doing their part, but they're, they're pretty, pretty, pretty loose. So Bailey, can you give us just a little more detail on the home run? It looked like you kind of hit it off the, the upper portion of the bat a little more. It wasn't like you pulled it down the line. Um, just kind of like your, your approach, and is that how you usually hit most of your home runs? Is, is, was, it, was there anything unusual about it? or It just it looked great coming off the bat. It was quite a clout, but... How, how would you kind of break down the, the swing and the trajectory, everything? Uh, I know it was a change-up. So uh, I went, I changed to the slap, and I think that's been really effective for me. I've been able to stay on top of the ball a little more. So, you know, the pitch, I think, was a little up in the zone, and I just kept my barrel above it. I mean, like Coach said, I just took an easy swing, and it just kind of went out. Anything else?